Good morning guys. So I thought I would vlog quickly on my camera before I leave because oh, I've just brushed up against the sofa after I've just lint rolled myself. I am off to London today with Sprout and Mum. This is actually Sprout's Christmas present. We're going to see Mrs Doubtfire in theatre. Show you guys what I'm wearing. Hopefully it's not too low. But I've got my Skims gold bodysuit on, just some Lulu lemon leggings, a Hollister denim jacket, and then my sketches. Just give you guys a bit of a close up. And then I've got my new earrings in from H&M. My fringe is so short, I cut it so short. And then like when you tie your hair up, you know, like you snatch your hair back and it goes even shorter. So that's why. Anything that I vlog today, I'll vlog on my phone. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Sister, say hi. What up, YouTube fan? <laughs> we got a little Nando's. Oh, lovely, thank you. Thank okay. you. This is what I'm doing, guys, for my bloody diet. This is 700 calories. I normally get what Sprout's got, which is 927 calories, sis. Just so you know. I'm not eating anything else. We're coming to you live from Shaftesbury Theatre. No, I said I'm doing a vlog. Yeah, like a long picture. You can't see it properly. It's so bright, you can't see it. We're going to find merchandise for Little Miss thingy. It was raining, it was so bad. Ooh, spooky. We don't know where we're going. Okay, guys, I'm back. So I totally forgot to vlog any more than what I vlogged. Mrs. Doubtfire is probably one of the best, funniest musicals I've seen. Like, it's by far the funniest, obviously, because it is quite a comedy film. But yeah, highly recommend if you guys get the chance to see it, go see it. We got absolutely soaked getting back home because um, I had to drive to my parents today because there was a train strike, so I couldn't go from my area, which was annoying. It's been raining, but I've had to let the babies out because I feel bad because they've been in all day. Little baby just doing her perching. Gotcha. Pumpkin is going wee in my flower beds. But yeah, my new door sign has just come, which I can't obviously show you guys because it's got the number and the street on. So I'm gonna have a look at it, see if it's nice. Cause so yeah, I'm gonna let them out for an hour, chill down here, I guess, till then, have a shower and get into bed basically. So yeah, sorry that today's been a bit boring, but tomorrow will be the same because I'm not really gonna do much tomorrow. But I'll tell you guys what I'm doing tomorrow anyway, tomorrow. I am with the label on the... <laughs> Silly girl. Good morning guys. So I have woken up, I've done an hour's overtime. I'm gonna make some breakfast now. It's literally like 10 o'clock, so I'm gonna have a sort of late breakfast. Gonna have some porridge. And then I might wait. I don't know if Manal will be back in time, but he said about doing the blinds before I went to the gym. So I'm thinking I will just go to the gym and do the food shop because Asda's like there. And then come back, do the blinds, hopefully put up the door sign. He don't like the door sign, but I really like it. Um, and I said to him, like, if it doesn't last long, we'll just buy a new one and get something that you like as well. But just trying to make the house look nice and presentable, you know. I do feel bad because I don't really ask him for his input, but then I think it will get done. And I bought the door sign myself, so. And then probably do another hour's overtime because I need to get the money. Drop some clothes off at the clothing bank when I go to Asda. But yeah, that's about it. I'm not really going to do much today. I need to strip the bed. Yeah, so it's going to be a very boring vlog again. I've literally ordered nothing because, guys, I'm trying to save. But yeah, I've got my new bow and tee top on today. I don't know whether I should have sized down, but hopefully I can shrink it a little bit. Sprout loved the two jumpsuits that I got her, so she's kept them, so that ended up quite good. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else to update guys on, so I'll update you guys later. Good afternoon, guys. So I haven't vlogged for a good few hours. I had lunch. I did the food shop in the end after Bernard finished at Barber's, so we did that together. Came back, had lunch, went gym, and that was it. So, yeah, I'm literally just, I won't show you too much, taking down the blinds, hoovering the sofas, put some washing on the line. Got another load of washing to go on the line, and then another load. And then, yeah, I'm just going to clean the windows now because they're still a bit smudged from where the guys obviously had done them. And there is some bits like on the door that I want to wipe as well. So I'm going to do that. And then, yeah, I'm just cooking my first whole chicken, guys. We're going to cook a roast dinner. So hopefully I won't forget to vlog and I'll show you what that comes out like. So yeah, I've only literally just put that on and that's got to cook for a couple hours. Um, so yeah, I will probably try and show you guys the blinds when they're done, like from the side. So you don't sort of see out. And yeah, I will pick up the camera in a bit. Good morning guys so it's like basically nearly lunch so nearly good afternoon guys um i literally have nothing to really update you on 
I feel like this week could be really pointless in vlogging, but I've got a parcel coming tomorrow from Ann Summers. Picked some of their cute lingerie. You guys will see why I picked it because of the colours. I am trying to get my life together today. So I've paid off some parts of our holiday that we've got in September. And then I opened an American Express British Airways card because I'm with Barclays at the moment and it was easy to just like pay off your balance and stuff because you're all in just log into one account. I'm not really reaping the rewards because like the points that you earn, all I can get is like an Amazon voucher with it or a couple other places. So it's not really worth it to me. And if I get the American Express, obviously you still earn points like you would on your Barclays one, but you get Avios points. So you get so many thousand when you open it up and then when you invite a friend, so I'll invite Sprout and she'll get 4,000, or I'll get 4,000 points. Um, and then obviously every point you get, you can every pound you spend you get an avios point so i'd rather have that and then be able to take it off of our future holidays because it works out so much better for us so i've done that so i'm opened just opened a savings account as well so i can transfer some money from that and get more interest because my current bank account is not really earning much so i'm taking advantage of that because i'll get quite a bit of interest on that and then yeah that's all i've done obviously working as well i'm sort of cooking myself lunch now as well but i've still got about 30 minutes or so because i just put in a sweet potato so that could take a while putting my chicken and have some salad with it i'm still doing pretty well on the diet situation i've kind of gone slightly over on a couple days but the weekend i did quite well because yeah i had to basically work out how many calories nando's was limit that down because nando's was a lot of calories so i had to limit that down probably gonna be a very boring week but if it's a short vlog it's a short vlog it is what it is we didn't manage to put up the blinds that became a disaster so we're waiting to get a drill that will actually go through the concrete lint or something tomorrow they should be coming to install the side panel in the front door because obviously it's supposed to be frosted and currently it's clear but hopefully i remember i'll show you guys my lunch when it's done it's gonna be so boring and plain but yeah right this is my lunch got a little capri sun i'm trying some baby peppers guys and then, yeah, sweet potato chicken. I'm also watching Andrew Dawn's... What is it? VC Andrew's Dawn. Andrew's Dawn. Trailer looked all right. Never heard of it before. So we're going to watch it and see what it's like. Good afternoon, guys. So, again, a very boring day. Have nothing to update you on. I've done nothing. We tried to do the blinds last night. That didn't work. So hopefully we'll get them done today. I didn't want to spend anyone any more money. But what did I do today? I spent money. So I have made a couple purchases today. I've made one on Collective, one on British Retro because they have a sale and they had so many cute dresses in the sale. So I got some for me and Sprout. And then I made an order on a site called Bag Smart. And I'll explain probably a lot more when it comes in like another vlog. They came and installed the glass panel on the door. So now it matches. That was done this morning. That was all good. Luckily I'd got ready because he turned up before eight. And they told me nine o'clock. Also, guys, that series that I started watching, the VC Andrews Dawn, highly recommend. The next part, or the, I think it's the last part, comes out in a couple days. Um, but they're like an hour and a half each episode, and there's four episodes. So they classed it as a limited series, but it was like each part is like a film. Um, but yeah, it was really good. So many like not twists, but so many unexpected occurrences was going on. And it was actually really good. I think they're based off of a book as well. So if you prefer to read, maybe check the books out. So yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling on now. I'm going to go on my break, go for a little walk, because I'm still keeping that up, and then go to the gym, get some cardio in. Good morning, guys. So I got up super early today. I went and did the Audi food shop, and then I've come home, put some makeup on, and was able to shoe an outfit before I started work. So win-win. I didn't vlog yesterday because again I had nothing to vlog so I'm going to put this vlog together see how much I've got and sort of decide but I've got a British retro parcel coming today so I'll probably make it into like a little mini haul video and then I'm going to go to next later pick up some Halloween stuff or autumn stuff and hopefully see if they've got anything new in for autumn and pop that in this vlog as well so that I'm still like a week ahead because I didn't really want to miss a week but again it's been quite boring I got paid today and I'm literally going to be giving all my money away. Yes, I'm basically going to be broke for the month, which is fun. I'm going to make some brownies later as well because I haven't baked in a while. Take some to my hairdressers tomorrow and give some to my mum. So yeah, I'll try and include that in the vlog as well. Although you've seen me bake so many times and probably bake brownies. I think before, yeah, I have baked brownies in a vlog before. But I just need some content for you guys. So yeah, I am currently shooting uh, this Fashion Nova dress. It is very long. Got my little H&M bag. Okay guys, my parcels have come. 
So I'm gonna start off with Collective. This will be no surprise to you guys. <gasps> Sunflowers! I am planning to go to a sunflower field with Sprout when it opens, so I'm 100% saving this dress for them. And I basically wanted it, but it was 80 pounds. And then they had it in the sale and I got it for like 30 pounds. Oh, it's just adorbs. You can put a belt in it. I thought it came with a belt. No, you don't. Right, I'm going to quickly try that on. Show Sprout a picture and I'll come show you guys. Guys, I am in love. This is pure perfection. Oh my God. I feel like it's very bold and out there, which is a bit of me. But I think it's like the style with the boldness that I'm not quite used to. So like at first I was like, oh my God. But so far in, like it's got pockets as well. We love pockets on dresses. Sometimes they can make my shape look a bit weird, but this one actually goes quite nice. It's really thick. Like it is, I would say like a good medium heavyweight dress. It's really thick. It's such lovely quality. It's like a nice, like I say, thick material. It does have the belt loop, so I do need to get a belt that's going to go with that. Probably just get a black one, or a yellow one would probably be nice to break it up a little bit, or even the green. That would be quite nice to add a pop of colour. But guys, absolutely love pure perfection. So this is British Retro. I got the red one with white polka dots. It's in the style Carmen. I think it was £44, down from £62, which is so much better. I got it in a 16, but I will say they do obviously fit very snug here and here, like there upwards. Um, you can wear them like on shoulder too, but my arms are a bit chubby, but yeah, you can do it even really. It doesn't really matter for me because I'm not going to wear a bra anyway. Um, so yeah, I do feel like I just need to lose a little bit of my stomach fat and it'll fit like a little bit nicer for me. But yeah, again, love these dresses. These are non-stretch. They have a hidden zip at the back. But yeah, I can't show you sprouts because I was going to try them on, but there's no way I'll fit into them. So she's got the navy polka dot one of what I've got in this. And then she also got the poppy one that I've got, but with the nude background. So same style, just the poppy nude one. Whereas I've got the poppy navy one, which is navy with daisies. And then... I've got a pink one as well in a different style to show you. But the next one on, this is like more of a softer material than that one. But again, same style. Like I said, the only thing I do feel like is a bit flat chested in these because obviously it's non-stretch. It's not like sitting that great, but I love showing off my shoulders. Um, but yeah, absolutely love this one too. Again, they are a great length for me. Guys, okay, I am in love. I'm so glad I got this one because I was on an iron between this and another one. But I'm really tempted to return this red one because like the red one's not wowing me. And I feel like it showed my fat a bit more than like the darker printed patterns. But love this. Again, we have no stretch, which is slightly annoying. Um, and I haven't got a bra on, so I'm thinking would a bra make it like gappy? But yeah, the arms are only like slightly tight. And then the belt, again, it's just a belt. You've got the belt loops. And then again, it is just a nice great length. I just love this. Like, I love this. I think I'm going to wear this when me and my dad go to Heaver Castle and we're going to take pictures because, yeah, I just love this one. Probably my favourite one, actually, out of the British Retro ones because I do really like the Sunflower one now, but... Yeah, highly recommend guys. I'll leave them linked down below and I'll leave Sprouts ones linked down below if you do want to check any of them out as well. I didn't even show you guys my cute sunflowers. They cost me £3.49 from Aldi, which is so cheap considering other places wanted a fiver for them. So I am going to head to next now, pick up my parcel. I'll show you guys what I got when I'm home or if they've got it in store, I'll give you a little sneak peek. But I'm hoping they'll have like their autumn stuff in because... I'm seeing the other necks have, and this is like a dedicated big next. So, let's hope so. And I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm not going to bring my vlogging camera, but I'll vlog on my phone.
Guys, I love that. That is so cute. Oh, We have a couple mins to spare as well. I don't know. I picked up some Red Evan bits. Got some wrapping paper for Bernard's sister. And then I picked up some cute, like, happy birthday cards. For, well, one for, is for his sister and one's for um, her husband. So, let me show you guys what I got. As you can see, they had quite a bit of stuff there, which I wasn't really expecting. Um, but nothing was really jumping out to me. And I need to be selective with what I buy now. The first one I picked up is this, like, all autumnal bedding which you can't really see but it basically has pumpkin and maple leaves on with some acorns as well so i'm going to keep that wrapped up and i'll put that on nearer the time and then i don't know if these are going to fit because i wasn't really sure on the sizes so i'll have to try them on because if not i'll have to pick up some in how adorable are these okay that top's definitely going to be big enough but it was because it had maple leaves and pumpkins on and it's got pumpkin spice on it and i was like i need to have them it's more the bottoms i picked them up in a large which is i think the 16 to 18 so i will try them on well they should fit and they do have cuffs at the bottom which i like will they fit me i'm gonna try them on i love them so much oh my god they weren't cheap none of this was cheap so yeah, next can be pricey, but they have some really nice stuff in, as you saw. But yeah, I need to be a bit more selective with what I buy this year. This is Bernard's dinner. We've got halloumi cheese in the burger, waffle fries and a spare halloumi cheese. Oh, thanks, son. You're welcome. Don't get me on camera. You're not on camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to bring you the ketchup in a sec. Yes, I'm going to bring you the sec, man. And then this is my din dins, a little cheeseburger that I'm gonna put some ketchup in. Guys, I totally forgot to show you my brownies that I made. So these are for me and Bernard. And then what I've done, I've given my mum three, and then I'm giving my hairdresser and her boyfriend four. So they have two each. Because obviously me and Bernard are trying to be good with our diet. So guys, I look like Cindy Lou with this hair, don't I? Um, I haven't even done any walks today. So I'm gonna chill now. I'm gonna have a bath during Love Island, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm gonna end out the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.